The Jewish community in the 41st Street area was very small. We lived in a house, um, a, a larger house than the one we came from, and we uh, became part of a show that had mostly older people. We went to the Hebrew Academy, which was an outstanding school as it is growing today, and uh, had a wonderful show in Beth Israel, and really uh, very little else in the way of uh, Jewish community accommodations. We had no pizza store, no delicatessen, and the nearest restaurant was more than four miles away. But we had great friends, and we had parents who were dedicated to helping us grow up to live an observant and spiritual Jewish life. Tonight we're in the JCC, the Miami Beach Jewish Community Center. A dream fulfilled. When we grew up, there was no Jewish Community Center or any dedicated location uh, for Jewish people and for their development. Through the dreams and the actions of many and especially few, including my brother Russell and Rhonda Lee. This Jewish Mini Center, JCC, is not only a reality, but a vibrant, flourishing, and growing Jewish influence. Tonight, we're gathered to dedicate a new Sefer Torah. A Sefer Torah is the scroll from an animal's skin upon is written the very words that God commanded Moses to write at Mount Sinai over 2,300 years ago. The Torah scroll has, has been written for over a year by a specialist, a scribe who's called a sofer, in the exact tradition that spans those millennia. And when we tonight dedicate a new Sefer Torah, it will join the Sefer Torahs that have been given over the decades and centuries. It's important to remember that the Torah is, in essence, the tradition that's passed from generation to generation. With the oral tradition that accompanies the written tradition, namely the Torah that was given at Mount Sinai, we are doing door to door. It is so important to recognize that in the Torah, the mitzvah, the commandment to write a Sefer Torah is for the very purpose to teach your children to be Jewish. So we stand to reason that in this partnership between Russell and Ronald Lee, the former generation uncle and aunt, and Brian and Adina, current generation, their nephews and nieces, we are now passing along the Torah. Every Jew is commanded by Hashem, by God, to finish a Sefer Torah, to write a Sefer Torah. It is not always so easy to accomplish. And we stand in awe today as Russell and Rana Lee complete this mitzvah and the next generation Brian and Dina do too. May they be examples for their brothers and sisters and their nephews and nieces for everyone to finish a Torah. Uh, it was a beautiful life to grow up on Miami Beach. Terrific memories. My grandparents would pick us up on Shabbos morning. My grandmother would knock on the door and We'd all wake up, and we'd have uh, cookies and cake, and it was a tremendous memory. Having our Bubby and Zadie around to be there for all of uh, the important occasions was incredibly special. But more than that, they never missed anything that was important in any of our lives. They were incredibly unique people who were completely selfless. They made us feel a unique sense of self that your grandparents think you're the most important people in the world and have the capacity to give in unique ways. 
Tonight is really uh, one of the most important nights of our lives, and that is to see the completion of a Sefer Torah, a mitzvah that most people don't have the opportunity to be able to accomplish. And in truth, without this incredible partnership between this shutfis, this partnership between myself and my uncle, together we have created a Sefer Torah and fulfilled this mitzvah in a way that's so beautiful and exactly the way Hashem wants from us. If you look at the size of the Sefer Torah, that that cloth should be as beautiful as it is, I was told by three people, that the cloth is magnificent and that's something that's not normal in a Sefer Torah. You'll find the ones that were, God forbid, held over from the Holocaust. You'll find that the, the, the parchment is so thin and, 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 and it was fixed many, many times. Look at that Sefer Torah. It's perfection. That's the difference. Thank you so much to Uncle Russell and Aunt Ronna Lee for thinking this, about this idea and making it happen. From the moment that Brian heard about the possibility of dedicating a Sefer Torah, he was so touched and moved and excited. And it's been something that he's been always dreaming about being able to do. And it's just so beyond incredible. In the Zuchus of the Sefer Torah, we just hope that Hashem hears all the tefillos that are being said throughout the world for Brian and it should just end with a complete refuah shlema and we could all celebrate together only simchas and happy times. Thank you so much.